everyone today in this episode we will see how we can write sql queries for cds environment for dynamic 365 right previously we are not able to write sql queries uh, in uh, online version of dynamic 365 but there is a feature tds endpoint feature which is uh, available for us we have to go to the environment settings then we have to go to products then features then we have to enable the tds option then we have to once it is enabled we have to open the sql server management studio right from sql server management studio we can connect to cds environment uh, where we have uploaded our we have installed our dynamics 365 environment right now here we have to click on this uh, connection object here and first we have to give the uh, url of the uh, environment trial version then after comma you have to give 3558 which is same for all and we have to use the authentication as azure active directory password here you have to give the same password username that you log in for your trial version of dynamics 365 so as soon as you give it will load all the tables and all the you know related database informations in our sql server management studio right now always remember that the database that are loaded here right now is only and read only you cannot update you cannot write any query that updates any data or data table right so you can see there is a upload written in the header of the connection now if you expand this database you can see all the tables available here there's a table node if you if you expand this you will find all the entities that are part of your uh, application uh, on the cds we have installed right i have installed the enterprise application so i can see accounts contacts every table i can see I can also write some queries to retrieve data here. I cannot write uh, queries to update data, rather I can write queries to retrieve data, right? Let me write some data like uh, select uh, some data from account entity. Uh, let me retrieve some top 10 data from account because it will take time to retrieve maybe. So let me take select top 10, start from that, start from account which will retrieve 10 accounts which are in the top okay so these are the accounts i can give some uh, specified columns here right these are all these are all sql queries only so i can click execute it will retrieve that right so remember that there is limitations in this you know connection this feature you cannot write update queries so you cannot do any you know you can just retrieve data and we can export that data in csv or excel sheet and uh, we can go through the limitations in microsoft site but i am i'm thinking that in uh, in future versions they will apply some more updates to this feature so that uh, more applications we can do more uh, no operations you can do using multiple queries right so they have not given update permission because uh, the data must be consistent and the security model should uh, persist okay so thank you this is just a feature walkthrough and uh, please subscribe my channel to get more updates like this and we can also you can see that if you want to export the data we can also uh, export that data to a csv file give a name and save now i can open that file from my desktop that i have saved so if i'll open that the data will be stored in that csv file Okay, so thank you guys. See you soon.